People's Court with the Cutlers. This is the case of Knowlton versus Knowlton. You've been married three years, been together nine years. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. Why have you brought your husband here today? Because I believe that he's cheating on me. Why do you believe that he's cheating on you? Because of the text messages that I found in his phone. All right. Mr. Knowlton, yes, why are you here? I'm here today to prove to her that none of that stuff ain't happened to save my family and my marriage, Your Honor. Okay. So, are you cheating on her? No, sir. No, Your Honor. You're not, not cheating on her? Not at all, Your Honor. And you're here to prove that today to, prove to her? I today, yes, sir. Okay, so your relationship, what's the status now? Our relationship right now is down the hill because he's been disrespectful to me. You know, he done called me fat. You know, Your Honor. hold up. Your Honor. He called you fat? Yes, ma'am. Yes, Your Honor. Yes, he did. All right. Your Honor. I, that, that is, that is Listen, low. That's low. Let me speak, Your Honor. What she's saying is true. I did call her that, but due to the fact that she tried to belittle me because I'm in... All right, I'm, let me just I'm tell saying, you. I'm talking about she called me broke. She called me dumb. Um, I ain't gonna never be nothing. Mr. Knowlton, I am a fluffy girl. You don't do that to women. I want to apologize to you. I'm sorry for saying that to you, too. Mm. You just don't do that. Now, here's the same to you. You should be his cheerleader when nobody else is his cheerleader. In order to make it work, you have to be his safe place. And if you are calling him a nothing and broke and this and that, well, you know, he's gonna act that way. What you say matters. It really does. And that whole notion of sticks and stones won't break my bones, but wor you know, words will never harm me, they do harm you. They hurt. Yes. Your Honor, yes, I understand. Your Honor, I tried okay. to be on his squad, but he kicked me off it. Well, you were on his squad at one point, right? Yes, Yeah, Your Honor. so take me back then. What was it like being on his squad at first? How'd you get on his squad? Yeah. Well, um, <laughs> I met him at his uh, grandmother's home uh, through a friend. And when I first seen him, I was like, ooh, he looked good. You know, like, oh, yes. you know? <laughs> he came around the corner, you know, with, with his shirt off. I was like, ooh. Oh, look at that, right, look at that. Right. You know, so uh, my I'll friend had told him what I said. So he was like, oh, okay. So when it was time for us to leave, he came running out the door and he almost slid down the hill. <laughs> he was like, hey, hey, hey. You know, I was like, he was like, um, you know, I think you look good or whatever. And I, I was like, okay. Thanks. And so he was like, can I get your number? I gave him my number. He called me. We started, you know, kicking it real cool and stuff. And then I want to say about a week later, we were downstairs in my house and he was telling me that um, he loved me. I said, love me? <laughs> Too love me. So you said it first. It, it, Your Honor, it, it was like that, but it went no week later. <laughs> the night I came to her house, I never left. <laughs> oh, yeah. hey, it I've was, it was a week later. Then. You were in love I've been right then. I've been there since 2008. I sense a great deal of passion. Yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm looking at that, and you are like, yeah, I was grooving, I was grooving. That's <laughs> sweet. But that passion has led to this passionate intense anger. I mean, when you were talking about how she talks about you and you were talking about how he talked about you and you filed for divorce, it has reached that point. Yeah, ma'am. Yes, Your Honor. And it like, it like, it's a, it like a back and forth game, like who can belittle each other the most and I always end up the one going out the door, you know, getting kicked out. And no, I don't want to keep doing that, you know, call children and see this stuff. And I'm, I'm a real man. I love my kids. I, call, I took on her kids before I took on her. So tell me what happened. Tell me what happened. He tried to mess with a family member of mine. He sent her a message, and she revealed the message to me. He put in the message that how he wanted to have oral sex with her. He put in the message how every time she comes to our house, how he fantasizes about her, how bad he wants her, and when I go to work to come over to the house. So he's inviting your relative Mm -hmm. to your house to be with him when you're at work? Yes, ma'am. Yes, Your Mr. Honor. Mr. Knowlton? Yes, sir. Did you send these text messages? No, Your Honor, I did not. I have not seen no proof what so happened. But Period. did you send them? No, sir, not at all. You deny that you sent these text messages? Yes, I, Your Honor. Your Honor, he's telling the did... lie. So why would her family member make this up? I don't even know, Your Honor, what's going on or why her family member would tell her that, but why, when I asked to bring everybody to the table and show me the text message and bring your family member, where they at? Ain't nobody show up. And then what really hurt me, Your Honor, about it was the fact he don't even talk to me like that. The things that he put in the message was like so provocative. It was like, I was like, ooh, I was hot. 
You know, it, was, it turned me on, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm like, this is my husband, but he's telling somebody, another woman this. It hurt me, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, ooh. How long ago were those text messages your from honor. your family member? That was May of 2016. And you believe since May of 2016, he has been cheating? Yes, I, Your Honor, I feel like he has because he's been coming in late. He, uh, he'll tell me, okay, I'm finna go to the studio, and he'll be gone for, like, hours. It's been going on for, like, two to three weeks, you know, back to back, back to back. And I ain't heard nothing yet from him. I ain't heard a line, a beat, a booter up, a bop, bop, boop, no, I ain't heard yeah. nothing, y'all. So, so he's going to the studio, and you're not seeing any product. I ain't heard nothing, not nothing. What, what time is he going to the studio? He goes about 12, 30, 1 o'clock. In the In morning? morning? Mm-hmm, yes, y'all, yes, Your Honor. Listen, Your Honor, yes. I have... All right, please, Mr. Nelson. I was waiting on her to come with that, because I have plenty of proof. I even had provided a song for her today. I oh. saw it. Is. If it's okay, okay. with y'all, you're on the man. Drop that All right. beat. Quick Drop that boy. beat. It's like this. I'm trying to keep it real with you, Cher. This is my loyalty. Can't nobody love you like I do. And I'm under, see? Beautiful face. You make me love when I see you, girl. You make me smile when I see them little girls. My world. My life is for you, and then I love it. All I want you to do, believe me and trust me. And when we get up out of here, gonna be love making. For real, I love you. Right. Um, and you know, I'm, you okay. can take that 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 uh, kindergarten rhyme somewhere else because it ain't gonna work here. Because like I said, he been coming in late, going out late. He's he basically he doing whatever he want in this marriage. Well, All right, Ms. so Dull, let me ask this because I mean musicians keep late hours. I mean everybody knows that. Yes. Why is his more suspicious than anybody else's. You know, he blocked me on Facebook, okay? You see, he not wait, telling everything. You, oh, wait, man, you blocked your wife on Facebook? I blocked her, my family, and her family, too. Yeah, yeah but this is a relationship where you've got trust issues, and when you start blocking <laughs> folks and hiding folks, that sends up a red flag. Yep. Yep. But you but, and I aren't friends on social media either. Yeah, but we've been together 35 years. I hope we built up some trust. In That's, the true. Okay, That's true. Okay, all right. That's true. All right. So it's a... Yeah. So, so that, you're that's the difference. That's apples and oranges. Right now, we're talking about you blocked your wife on Facebook. Yes, Your Honor. I have very good reason for that, Your Honor. All right. Okay, I want to hear okay. this. The reason why I blocked my wife from Facebook, she done done it to me 30 times. No, now he she, blocked me, Your Honor, because so I, he blocked me because he was doing dirt, and I had to go through all his friends and look up under the comments. There was one girl that, you know, stood out to me. And you know, she looked like kind of like RuPaul a little bit. Like, you know. So I was like, mm, you know, this is, but they'll be the ones. So I, I hit it. Boom. There go his message right there. I said. And what did the message say? I got proof right here. Ron, would you please? Right here. Here's a, here's a question. Thank you. Why did you send a text message to this woman on? Y'all, I'm gonna be honest, after all this stuff we had on been through, we've been through, I, I, I had a lot going on in my mind. I had a lot going on. I don't know what she doing over there at her place of residence because she would not respond to me. I don't know what's going on. Okay. So... No, you okay, let me read this. Manipulator. Lady Post says she's starting work somewhere, and your response is, I need to come fill out an app. That's around the corner from me. Mm. I get to work and see you. And then you got dollar signs. Ching, ching. <laughs> you wrote that? Yeah, yeah, I said on that. So what you talking about? I get to work and see you. It was a mistake what I made, but I never acted on it, you know? Okay, but do you understand when she sees things yes, like this, I... why she doesn't trust you? Yes, ma'am. I was like, you're a dog. You're, you're a dog. You're a nasty dog. Do you have any other reason to believe he's cheating? Right now. Not wanting to, you know, sleep in the bed with me. You know, he sleeps on the couch. He so you, be you believe that he no longer wants to be intimate with you because he's got other women? Yes, he has other women. And on top of that, you know, with the porn, he loves to watch porn. Your Honor, I had been begging. I don't know begging my wife for sex. Your Honor, is you that know? true? And no, so Your that, Honor. That's no. gonna send a man this way and that. Oh Lord, have mercy. No, it's no. not. Who wants to so live with take, somebody who calling you if fat it, I feel like and ugly? I'm not gonna give you my body and my soul and all of that, and you calling me fat and ugly? Well. Sometimes when a woman is going through a situation like this, she needs to hear advice from someone who has similar experiences. And so this court would like to call Malaysia Pargo, who appears on VH1's Basketball Wives of L.A. Ron, would you please escort her Donna. into the courtroom? Bring up the 
Hi, how are you? Margo, thank, thank you for you. joining us. Thanks for having me. You have been very open about infidelity issues in your life. I have. Um, could you share with the court and with our litigant some of the things, uh, warning signs that you noted when you were having those experiences? Well, what I, ex what I experience is my husband and I, we grew up together. And when the patterns change, like when you notice that the connection change, then there's something off. That's when we automatically think that it's another woman. So I understand where you're coming from. Did you ever search through your um, spouse's phone? I actually did. And that was my breaking point. It was like, what is this? Who is that? What? Uh, oh, hell no. Okay, so for a woman like Ms. Knowlton who suspects her husband has not been faithful to her, what advice would you give her? Focus on yourself. I hear a lot of, um, like, you're damaged because of his words. Well, my grandma always told me, she said, if you tell yourself that you're beautiful, you're smart, and you can conquer the world, you can do everything um, through the higher power, you don't have to worry about someone else breaking you down. So when he say certain things where, you know, you, you want to agree with them. And if you agree with him, work on it. But if you don't, you say, I like me the way I am. And if you're my husband, you're going to love that too. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much you're for welcome. sharing with us. Yeah. So, Ms. Knowlton, are you connecting with what Ms. Pargo's talking about? I am, yes, Your Honor. I'm beginning to see it from a different point of view as far as with myself. Maybe I need to reevaluate myself and, and see if this is something that, you know, I really want to continue with him and, you know, really figure out with myself, who am I? So, Mr. Nolan, you stand by the fact that you are not cheating. Yes, Your Honor. I stand by that fact. I stand by that fact. I know it's true I have not had physical contact with no woman but my wife. And, Ms. Dalton, you're convinced that he is cheating? Yes, Your Honor, he's cheating. Okay. I'm very convinced. Well, you prove? To get to the bottom of this, uh, the court has engaged the services of licensed private investigator Todd Redding. Ron, would you please escort Mr. Redding into the courtroom? Yeah. Stand right on here. How are you, Mr. Redding? Fine, Your Honor. Uh, Mr. Redding, would you explain to the court uh, the techniques that you used in today's case? Yes, Your Honor. I had a colleague of mine perform a polygraph examination on the litigant. All right. And I have the results right here. All right. <laughs> All right, so in this polygraph examination, Mr. Knowlton was asked some questions. Is that correct? That's correct, Your Honor. All right. Uh, the first question that Mr. Knowlton was asked was, have you ever sent sexual text messages to your wife's family member? What was his response to that question? Your Honor, his response was no. What did the lie detector determine? The lie detector examination determined that he was being deceptive. Oh, He's a liar. No, Your Honor. He's a liar. I did you not. still, you still maintain you did not do I that. Still maintain it, sir. God know, and God know, I did not. All right. There's another question. Mr. Knowlton was asked, since being married to Mrs. Knowlton, have you had sexual intercourse with any other woman? What was his response to that question? Your Honor, his response to that question was also no. What did the lie detector determine? The lie detector examination determined that he was again deceptive. <laughs> this is your chance to come clean. I'm being honest, Your Honor. I have not had a relationship physically with another woman besides my wife. I'm through. You hear her saying she's through. This I'm is through. your last chance to save this. But I want you to believe me, baby. I'm, un I'm, I'm through. Being I'm through with, with you. you. Your Honor, I've titled this case Massive Deception. Wow. He's lying and he's a manipulator and I'm tired and I'm done. Tell him exactly what you're feeling right now. I feel like you portray not just me, but your children, our marriage, everything. And I'm done. I'm done. I'm sorry, baby. I gave this man nine years of my life. And I already didn't feel good about myself. So when I met him, it made me feel like I was on top of the world because he made me feel like that at the beginning. 
And I understand that people go through things and all of that, but when you try to break me as a woman, that's my cue to go. It's my understanding Ms. Pargo would like to share something. Do you think that if you guys went to counseling, you can make it work? I mean, because that is one of the things that I wish I would have done, is step back and go to counseling between the both of us, because right now, to this day, we still very much love each other. So before you walk away, make sure that you do not love him no more. And let me just say this to you. Mr. Cutler and me have been together 35 years. A marriage and a family is sacred. And you should just throw it away because you're mad or you're hurt. So I would encourage you both to take advantage of the resources that this court has for counseling and try to move that ball forward. No one wants to see a family destroyed. By the same token, if you can't work it out, you should get counseling for that so you can move together and co-parent well together. As we say in this courtroom, please don't cheat yourself out of a chance for a good relationship. Court is adjourned.